Hey, hello, what's up guys? It's Jamie, aka The Fun Economist, coming at you guys today with another trading method. So today we're going to be covering an updated contract trading method. Many of you may remember that I released a contract trading method earlier in the year, which basically consisted of buying non-rare gold contracts at 150 a piece and then later selling them on at 200 bin. Now that was a really effective method back in the beginning of FIFA. However, since the demand for contracts has gone down, it's no longer effective because people are no longer willing to buy contracts at 200 a piece. Essentially what this updated method consists of is buying rare gold contracts at 200 piece on bid and then selling them on at 250 minimum bid and 300 bin. If this method sounds ridiculously simple, well that's basically because it is. However, if not done correctly, it can actually be really inefficient, and you'll have a tough time winning any of the rare gold contracts. However, with the tips that I'm about to share with you guys, hopefully once you master it, you should be able to rake in about 10k an hour. Like all of my other trading method videos, of course, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of it, so make sure you stay tuned to the end to find out how to enter. I'm also going to be announcing the winner of the last giveaway, the 10k giveaway on the Forfeit FIFA video, so stay tuned to the end to see if you've won. So without further ado, let's get into how we're gonna actually do this. So of course you're gonna to wanna to make your way into the transfer market, head over to consumables and set your quality and type to gold contracts. And then the most, probably the most important step, do not skip this, is go ahead and set your max price to 150 and then your min price, your min buy now price to 4,000. Now what this is gonna do, is it's gonna make sure that everyone who's competitively listing their rare gold contracts is not gonna show up. And the only contracts that you're going to see when you're trying to bid on are the contracts that someone's basically taken right out of the gold pack and just listed at the default price. So basically it's gonna be 150 bid and 5,000 buy now. What that's gonna do for you is it's gonna make sure that all the competitively priced contracts are filtered out. And that's basically gonna mean the only people that are gonna be competing against you for those contracts are the people that are going through and actually taking the time to bid on contracts. So as you can see, it's actually taken us until the 19th minute to start finding these. I think someone else is doing this method right now. It also depends on what time of the day you're doing. I'm doing this at 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm recording this pretty late. But once you find these contracts, all you have to do is put bids on them for 200 a piece. One other thing that I wanna mention is that you don't wanna bid on every single contract. And the reason for that is because it's basically gonna make it so as they're going across the trade block, it's gonna look like to that person that's just hopping on and looking to buy a contract real quick, that 200 is the fair going price. And they're gonna get outbidded more consistently. If you leave you know, one or two every three contracts that you bid, there's a good chance that that person's just gonna fight over that one card instead of looking to outbid you on every single one of those 200 cards. I also wanna make a note that if you're watching this a little bit later on in FIFA, there's a good chance that the prices of these contracts have actually risen a bit. If that's the case, just go ahead and rise your bid price to 250 coins and then rise your selling price to 300 minimum bid and 350 maximum bid. So I'm going to go ahead and bid on a couple of these and then come back to you once they expire and then I'll show you how you want to relist them. So I just finished up bidding on 50 of these rare gold contracts at 200 a piece. I've won 29 of them so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them on my transfer list and then once I've done that I'll come back and I'll talk to you guys about how we're going to list them up. Okay so when we're listing them up you're going to want to put your min buy now price at 300 coins and then your starting price at 200. 150 coins and you're just going to go ahead and list that. Now one thing that you don't want to do is use the relist all button and the reason for that is although it's going to save you time in the short run, in the long run you're actually going to lose time. And the reason for that is because when you're listing them using the relist all button, say you're selling 50 cards at the same time, they're all going to appear going across the transfer market as sort of this one big block. And there's two things that are wrong with this. The first is that there's not going to be as many eyes to see your cards going across the block at any one time because they're all being listed at the exact same second. The second thing that's wrong with it, and you can sort of use your experiences to know this, if you're looking to buy a card and there's 50 of them that are all going for the exact same price and they're listed at the exact same time, you're going to be suspicious that someone's trying to jib you and make you buy it at a higher price than it's actually going for. So they're probably going to click to the next page and see that there's another card going for 250 or maybe 200 coins and they're going to decide to buy that one instead. Now, there are a few more ways that we can make this method as efficient as possible. The first of which is that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your transfer targets and your transfer list are as big as possible. The way that you're gonna to wanna to do this is go to your EAFC catalog and make sure that you've purchased all the upgrades to your transfer list and your transfer targets. If you don't have a high enough level to buy the upgrades for yourself, then you can just ask one of your friends to do it because they can actually gift it to you. And if you're on the Xbox One, just drop a comment down below and we can talk in a DM because I can actually do it for you. Also, the best time to bid on these rare gold contracts is during some 
some sort of pack opening. Uh, anytime there's a pack opening, there's going to be an influx of cards on the market, and that means that there's going to be a lot of consumables up for grabs, and that's going to make it a lot easier for you to win those cards. Corresponding to this ideal time to buy these cards, there are actually two particular times that are really good for selling these cards. And the first of which is late at night for the UK and the United States. The second time is during Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which are basically the peak times when people are going to be playing FIFA. The way that I like to do it is I like to go and bid on as many cards as I can before I go and play a game. After that game, I come back, I see how many cards I've won, I've listed up all the cards that I did win. After that, I go and play another game. After that game, I come back, I take all the money that I've gotten from selling the cards and go bid on some more cards, and the cycle continues. It's a nice change of pace, and it's a really good way to make some extra coins between games. Okay, so now that we're done with the trading method, it's time to announce our giveaway winners. So the winner of the 10k giveaway from the Forfeit FIFA video is YouTube user Jake Saunders. So congratulations, keep your YouTube message box open, and I'll be shortly messaging you about details on how to claim your prize. Also, the new giveaway for this episode is going to be a 13k giveaway, because that's how many coins I was able to make using this method in one hour. So all you gotta do is answer the question down below, answering who you think is going to win in the Euros, and then obviously you have to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and then that's it, you'll be entered into win at 13K. Also, if you wanna see this trading method in action, I've just used it in my Trading to the Top series, which is basically a road to glory focused around trading. I'll link that down in the description if you do wanna go and see that, but other than that, it's been Jamie, AKA the Fud Economist. Keep your trade balls full, stay rational, and I'll see you in the next video.